good morning or no it's afternoon now good afternoon youtube boy ain't i a sight man it has been hot and humid i had to put this on because we were out here digging and sweat just running down in my eyes and stinging and this thing's half tied on it's been hot it's been a mess but let me show you had a water leak right here at this house and so i put one of those uh i don't really know what the proper name for it is a half clamp it's got a piece of rubber inside of that and you tighten it down we fixed it this morning while we were working on it it come a rain rained on us it's been a mess and just muddy and you can see the whole we started digging here because i wasn't sure where the water was at it was bubbling up here but as you can see we kept going around we found it atmos gas came and marked um, there's been others to mark so we had to dig it by shovel couldn't use the backhoe too much stuff around too dangerous so we got that fixed and then they told me their sewer line was stopped up so now we're going to rotor root that i've probably had this thing a year or more it's never been out it's never been used never been ran i didn't read the instructions we're going to learn it as we go and try to set it up figure it out see what it'll do i got five 12 amp hour batteries with me so hopefully that's enough to get it done we're going to find out whether this thing's worthy to keep or throw it in a dumpster got a nifty little handle on the front there you see him i think that handle will even pull out jeff i'm not sure if there's a clip or a button you push or yeah look up there man mm -hmm. golly <laughs> we're gonna figure this thing out <laughs> we opened it up throw the instructions in the trash and here we are that's just the way i run and you know what the other thing is i could care less if anybody likes it don't like it whatever i'm the one doing it. this particular house we have to take the planks up right here because it's right there one of these days i'm going to go out here in the yard and i'm going to because the, the pipe runs all the way around there circles out across around back and i've just been putting off going back there and digging up a spot and putting a clean out in back there so we're gonna get this thing set up you can see we ain't even take taking the plastic off the hose we're doing that here so it looks to me like you've got neutral forward let's put it in neutral and i'm gonna pull my cable out let's start down there we are now let's see if it'll feed this is a hard little spot to make a turn right here. Let me have that glove right there behind you. These gloves, yeah. These rubber ones aren't good. They're good to keep your hands dry. Mm -hmm. But for this cable, you need these. Uh, yeah. So it don't paint your hands up. Because that can grab that. A little hard to get on with that <laughs> rubber glove. There we go. All right, get ready with another cable, Jeff. Right. Boy, I mean, it feeds that. There's the end of it, I believe. Boy, it feeds that cable. And usually this thing is about a hundred feet out there. The other times I've had to unstop it. It's about a hundred feet out there. And I, I can see water down there. We hit something right there. Go to neutral. going now I 
something right there. That's binding right there on something. Getting something. Just let her work a little. Once you get to this point here, you just let it, just a little bit at a time, just let it eat. Now we're going on. All right, there's two, so that's 30 foot. Other end. Other end? Yeah, other end. Just pull your cable out. That's two, this will be three, right? Yeah. All right. You'll have to bring that other right. thing up here. Uh, other basket of cables. I'm anxious to see what this thing does and it gets about a hundred foot of cables on it. I had my life to do over again, I'd have a backhoe and several rotor or rotor rooting machines, all different kinds, sizes, and this is what I would do for a living. I really enjoyed doing this. I'm talking about the years back before I ever got into rental property. I've got so many rental property now that there's no way I've got time to, I can't even take care of my own stuff, much less do anything for anybody else. So this will be four. Four. That's when that one ends. That'll be sixty foot. It's usually about 90 foot or so out there every time it's clogged up before. Water hose reach up here. Uh, yeah. Water hadn't went down yet. Yeah, take that end off of it. So we said that was four. Yep. 60 foot. Stand up a minute, my back's getting me. Uh, it's filling up, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Just go cut the water off, be fine. I 
I think it's chewing on something right there. I heard the motor bog down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Chew on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's chewing on something. Chew, I smell it. All right, Jeff, leave the water wide open. Hang on. Leave her open. It's went down a little bit. I think we're doing some good. This is when it gives you that good feeling right here. Tell the way the motor's doing is chewing on something. It's pulling. Ooh yeah. I bet it's got some roots in there. Yeah, the water's gone. Water's all the way down, so we got through it. Whatever it was. Huh? Do what? What's wrong? What is it? it must be coming from that spot. Oh, it's where the water hose were just running down there on the ground. Oh, okay, okay. See, that's more the water. Yeah, that's just where it's water hose. Yeah, that pipe's clean now. Oh, okay. So it, it got it. It got through it. Hot dog. Well, this thing maybe I won't throw it in the dumpster today. <laughs> that Milwaukee sprayer, backpack sprayer I got, I've been thinking about throwing it in the dumpster. That thing ain't worth a flip. It started out working good, and now it don't work at all. Well, I believe we have earned our keep here today. Looks like we got it. I'm just feeding it on to make sure that it don't hit nothing else, but whatever it was there, it was digging. So was this number five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. all of it oh my back so it's taking that water right now as fast as that it can put it mm -hmm. so you see what's outside the pipe and if all of that was down that'd be 75 foot of pipe i don't know that this is a good test for it right here it was eating into something and i could tell it was pulling the the motor down and i like that that you could tell the motor was pulling down because you could tell you know you were in a clog even before that this started started giving me feedback before this started wanting to twist with me i could tell the way the motor was sounding that it was eating into something so i liked that uh the machine did great and we used uh and I, one of the things i dislike about these milwaukee batteries is that is red and you can't see red in sunlight but it took one dot off of that battery now that is a brand new battery i just got this august of 2022 it took one dot off of it. We got 75 foot of cable in that it's ran. It got through now the get clock. this, guys. The GoPro keeps shutting off because it says it's too high. Look at my rag here down over my eye. I look like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps shutting off because it says it's too hot. Now, me and Jeff out here working, and we're hot, but we ain't shutting off. <laughs> These GoPros, man, I guess they're made for Alaska. All right, real quickly, we're going to start pulling the cable out. I'm going to run the machine to pull it because I can't pull it out. It's got so much in there. But the GoPro's probably going to shut off because it's such a big baby. It can't work out here with us. It says it's too hot. So we're going to have to run this because I can't pull it up. But the pipe is taking water at full force right here. So we cleared our clog out. I'm going to leave the water running to wash our cable off as it comes out. Before that stupid GoPro shuts off again, I was going to show you. I bought this new rigid tool to undo 
the cables. Let's see. There it is. That's what it does. All right. I always leave water running down through there to wash the cables off. And Jeff's going to lay them out on the blacktop and wash them. Uh. Yeah, I like that tool. I like it. We're hung on something. We've got to run the machine. Let's see here. Put it neutral. Spin it. There we go. What you have to do sometimes is spin it like that. Sometimes that head will hang on to something. All right, hang on, hang on. Okay. This should be the last one right here, five. Hey, buddy, there's something. A bunch of hair. Woo, look at that. Yeah, get it. You got a fish? Yeah. <laughs> bunch of hair. So what you got, that's for like seven eighths cables. This is for your inch and a quarter cables. This is actually like a, for leverage if you needed that for leverage. But you either use this one or that one. Boy, they're sharp as a razor, too. Probably been a long time since I've shown you my bits, but I don't know that I've ever used that. Never used that. Never used that. I like this real well. And this one. Those are good if you've really got uh, what I found really tough clogs. Like I'll start with that one, let it bore through and get a hole where you, you can get rid of some of your water, sewage, whatever. And then if you want to put the bigger one on, uh, same thing with the spade, it's good to drill through. Not sure I've ever used that. I like this real well. And you can see I had the three inch one on this end. That other one's the four inch. I use that a lot. You've got cutting power going in and coming out with that on both ends. Jeff's gonna hose them off real good. We got them laid out on the black. I didn't show you that one. I have used that one several times. It's pretty good to work its way down. It's really made, you know, to hook onto something if you lose a tool in there to bring it out. But yeah, you might can see that it's empty. So we're clean. The machine did good. I'm tickled with it on this project. You got a little lever right here you pull out and then the hose releases out of that. Then this breaks down like that and you got a lock right here there's your forward and reverse you see it is a tool connect i'm fixing to hook it up to my phone i've never hooked it up because i hadn't had it on here's where your battery goes and then this is your neutral and then if you want to go forward and backwards using your forward and backwards switch pretty basic and like i said you undo that right there and you know your handle you can I don't know why you'd want it back here, but right there where it goes. Got two big springs back here. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's take the battery out of it. I don't I haven't seen an on and off switch on it, so I don't guess it's got an on and off switch. But to transport it, you do that. Put that over that. Pull the handle out on the front, which Jeff showed you that while ago, that right here pulls that handle out. Easy to transport. Today it earned its keep. Boy, I'm liking this do-rag. I think I'm gonna lose that thing. It's soaking wet anyway. It's been a hot, hot day. We're gonna have to cover cover this up now, fill our walk in, that thing ain't leaking no more. I've been leaving it un, uncovered just so we can keep an eye. I was gonna put one of these, but with that you gotta cut the line in two. And with this kind of 
fitting you don't have to cut the line you just put it you got to get it positioned just right it took me three times to get it positioned just right because it kept dripping on me a little bit but after I finally got it positioned just right it quit well I got the mud put back in there the best I could got a little pile of gravel right over there that'll go back in I'm just going to let that settle down it's just so much mud there you can see where we stacked it up here on the ground just washing my little Kubota off getting it cleaned back up looking new he does a fine job at cleaning my tools up guys we're gonna check out of here I just wanted to since we got that out it worked out good today I'll be able to get you a new tool Tuesday in the morning not been making too many videos I tell you guys uh, I'll make a video and go around and show you I had a guy come in he's named uh, Major Ken that's his name of his business he's a was a major in the military Air Force he's doing handyman woodworking stuff so I've had him to come in he hung a bunch of doors for me uh, he's making some shelves for me right now uh, I'll show you all of that stuff and then I had the Amish show up and everybody came in at once I've been trying to get help for a few weeks now and then everybody came the same time so the Amish have showed up built me a shop here in town they finished that up for me uh, I had another guy helping me so man I was running keeping them in supplies and stuff and I know I hadn't done good on videos but when I get things that kind of back to an even kill a little bit things level out uh, I'm gonna get back to making some videos uh, got myself in a bind with too many properties and bought too many properties and just trying to get help right now and materials and so anyway y'all have a blessed one